Decided, you know, we should put some shapes. In, like we wanted to open it up, like you know, to, to make, you know, to so that the wall wasn't so severe, mm -hmm. and so that there could be some light and some air, like going through the space. Mm -hmm. And and we also just needed more wall space. And and I thought we thought it'd be nice to kind of break things up a bit, you know. It, and we put it at an angle, so just to to be a little bit playful. Know the idea of having a, a, a unified space always seems kind of like this hippie uh, utopian idea. I think it can also become really fascist, but at the same time, I think some of that is really nice to have, you know. And, and so that's why the show, like the title of the show, was uh, "The Art of Semi Autonomy," because I feel like if if things are um, unified too much, it starts to be a systematic program and it's almost fascist. And then also the other thing is if uh, everything is completely autonomous, if all the artwork is existing on, like if it's supposed to be floating there, like in this white void, um, like independent of any other thing outside or around it, like that's also some kind of form of like fascism or like, like this very um, like severe, um, Way of thinking. sort of a gallery setting because there's no furniture and it's white walls and so it's not quite like the gallery feeling isn't totally suspended because I mean it is obviously someone's apartment and behind a door is their kitchen or their bedroom um, but it's still it's not like you're sort of you know tripping over their cat or their books or something <laughs> so like it is a nicer feeling I think but then again, it's like if you know if if I found it in a the LA Weekly or something and didn't mm -hmm. know that it was someone's apartment, then I don't know, I'd have been different. <laughs> <laughs> 
Space, I felt like it was um, already like setting the space up for the audience to have like a slower kind of experience with the artwork. Um, so that so that was something I was interested in working with, and I guess the um, the idea was that either through form or content or like functionality, that the the artwork in the show would. Um, like they would, like the artworks would relate to one another, and then the space, and then the, the atmosphere within the space. Usually, she has a lot more color, so she, she was playing with the you know, light and shadow, and like knowing that it would be fitting in the corner. So it's kind of like it is that it's kind of warm mm -hmm. that's matching with the space, mm -hmm. or vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess it's like typically, like for me at least, I feel like um, like often I'm living like in anticipation. Like my, I, I'm somehow I'm, my thoughts are ahead of like the place where I'm at. You know, there's somewhere in the future. And I'm thinking about what I'm going to eat for dinner or what movie I'm going to see or. Um, you know how how the next week is gonna pan out, and it's really hard to just um, sit and take things in. And uh, a lot of times when I do that, I feel like I'm waiting or I feel anxious. In a way, I feel like a luddite. You know that this show is like a way of creating an experience that's a, a, li a little um, slower, you know, like more, a um, little more peaceful, a little more less hectic, a little more, a little, a little less anxious or anxiety.